Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd do something that I've never actually done before, but I've always loved watching these videos and been so intrigued on trying it myself. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the expensive versus drugstore makeup. So I bought some expensive makeup and also some drugstore makeup, and we're gonna be putting them to the ultimate test to see which makeup is better. Is it drugstore or is it like expensive makeup? It's getting closer to me. So I want you guys to comment down below before this video even starts and tell me which one you think is going to look better. I'm going to do this side as my drugstore and this side as my expensive. Um, I've also got a really, really bad spot on my face and it takes up my whole freaking face. I literally feel like I woke up this morning and it's just growing and growing and growing. And like no matter what I put on my skin right now, my spot is just crazy. I think also because I am on my period, it's just like that hormonal, like look at that. I don't even know that big right now. It will get bigger, trust me. Honestly, it's been awful. I think because I'm on my period, it's just like hormones are coming out of my skin and I've been picking it, so it makes it 20 times worse. But I just kind of toned my face. Um, I'm not going to do that either side. But what I am going to do from now on is we're going to split my face into half just so we really get that mix of the both sides. So, oh my God. If it was this side compared to this, look at this spot. We've got to try to cover that, first of all. But first off, I'm going to be taking two different moisture moisturizers we've got this which is literally two pound i'm pretty sure and this which is at about 70 pounds first of all let's go in with the tatcha to be fair i use both i personally really don't like this as much as a base as i do with the nivea soft cream i've always used nivea soft cream and especially when i get my makeup done no makeup artist will ever use tatcha on you rather they always use nivea soft cream on you which i just think is actually very very crazy to me because obviously you think they'd use a more expensive one because it's better but no they all swear by this one so we've got to put it to the test for me just from like the texture this definitely gives you more of a nice moisture this kind of feels a bit more like i don't know not as nice as here this feels like a baby's bottom more than this wouldn't but obviously that's just from a moisturizer it's also how it holds with makeup because i know that's a big thing for people so I don't actually think I have the L grip primer. Oh, we have. We've got something similar. Okay, for primers, we're going to go with the ultimate test between the e.l.f. This is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer, and this one is the Milk Makeup one. I don't think the prices are that big difference, but this is kind of more like a higher end, more than the e.l.f. Cosmetics. I actually love e.l.f., and I think it's a really good brand. But I've got some primer. I'm going to just kind of put this everywhere. First of all, the consistency of this is actually quite nice, and it is definitely cooling. I love the smell of the mint, so I'm going to put that everywhere. And then, this is actually like the ultimate test, because these two are meant to be like just as good as each other. Like, people compare the e.l.f. to the milk and say they're the exact same. So I'm going to go in with this milk one and set that primer into place. So I've now primed either side of my face, and for me, it's similar consistency so far. I don't really see the difference between these two, but I think once you put the makeup on, that's when you start seeing the difference. So, for the makeup side of things, this is the Plumping Tinted Serum from L'Oreal. This one's like a big, big must-have in my makeup artist bag. And then we've got the Iconic London Radiance Booster. So this is a quiet used product of mine. I do personally love it. I don't have to take too much. That's kind of enough. And let's open this up. And let's just open. Let's plop this on my face. I'm just rubbing that in there. Right, let's grab. I don't know why I didn't put brush. Okay, I'm now going to go in with the tinted plumping serum from l'oreal and just take this all across my face i think this actually blends out so so nicely and if you just want that kind of like natural looking base where your skin still looks like skin but it just gives that extra bit of i don't know like coverage but also i think it gives a really really nice color to your skin that i definitely recommend then we're gonna go in with this one which is the radiance booster both of this two products kind of have a little bit of similar traits i think they're really really nice for like making skin look like skin but yeah i don't really see a major difference side to side like i think they look pretty much the same the only difference is i've got a bigger spot this side but yeah the texture of them are pretty much the same so i don't know why people would spend it on the iconic london but i do because obviously i still like having some nicer higher end makeup mainly for me the difference between them two is nothing I actually think the L'Oreal is probably one of the best ones in the game. Okay, so I actually bought all of these makeup products as well from Boots. Um, I literally go to Boots for all my drugstore makeup. I love Boots so, so much. Right, this is the L'Oreal. I'm not even trying to say that. Um, something 
fillable more than concealer 24 hours so for me concealer is quite a big deal because i want this to cover my spots and just give that nice kind of like undry look and um, okay so we're going to use that for this side then for the other side i think i'm going to go in with two different high-end concealers this is to kind of just show the nars pot as well i wouldn't even say that the nars pot concealer's price is actually that bad because i think it's incredible for how well it can cover a spot it like should get all the money for that do you know what i mean like it actually is incredible for not only just spots as well but just to kind of like i don't know sit on your skin i think it's amazing uh, but i'm actually going to go in with the nars pot for my spots and then this is kind of like my under eye concealer as it's just a nice consistency it's from lancome um, which is obviously quite a higher end brand so i'm gonna start off with this side with the beauty blender and we're just gonna blend this out i mean this concealer looks really nice i've actually never used wow covers my spot really well i mean the spot wasn't that obvious but every time i conceal i always go in after with a little bit of foundation brush just so it's not too harsh i think that's really nice let's try this side I think, honestly, you cannot tell the difference between the Lancome concealer and the L'Oreal. I just think the L'Oreal would not be able to kind of cover up the spot as much as the Nars pot can. That's the only difference I'd say for that. I'm going to kind of just take a little bit more and let that sink a little bit. I actually think that the other concealer is a little bit easier to blend. I think these two are a little bit more difficult. So, okay, so this is the difference at the moment. I just say this is a little bit more coverage, maybe because I put quite a bit more concealer on though, I wouldn't actually blame the products for that so this is kind of the difference right now i think there's like the slightest difference i don't even think if i went out without this line over my face people would know the difference i think they're coming across literally the same but i think we need to put something to the real goddamn test and this is the charlotte tilbury contour stick versus the elf halo glow contour you guys i've seen it all over for you page oh my god this has already been used that's weird it must have exploded i've seen so many people rave about this contour and I've personally never used it. The only difference is that this contour stick is a little bit slimmer, as in from the looks. It kind of looks like the same. Uh, it's just a little bit slimmer than this one. This has got like a bit of a thicker brush, if you guys can kind of see that. So I'm going to put this to the test and just put a little bit that side down the nose. I think I definitely went for a bit too dark of a shade compared to this one. Uh, I didn't actually see that many shade uh, ranges in stock. So I just got the one that was dark because the other ones were like the highlighters and stuff. Let's have a little look and see how this blends. So, oh, let's use another brush as well. Sometimes I think when you use two brushes. Okay, definitely way too dark for me, but that was my own fault. We can definitely work with this though oh i don't like that already how is it making my skin go gappy okay it's definitely well but it's like made my skin go a little bit like patchy which is a bit weird this is way too dark oh my days and it's just getting worse first of all we need to really okay so this is one side with like the contour and this is the one that's not been blended out yet I'm just going to go in with a completely different brush and show you guys. Personally, for me, this one definitely wins just already. I know the colour was a problem, but just like, it actually just sits on your skin nicely and it doesn't kind of break apart your makeup. I think the other one really broke apart my makeup. And I actually use more product this side, so if anything, you think that side would break up my makeup more. Let's just do my nose a little. Let's just do... I put way too much on. This is probably the worst example i could have gave but this is kind of the difference now um my nose is honestly not looking good we need to blend this out a little bit but this is the difference so far i'm gonna put you guys in the middle so we can really see uh i still don't think there's that much difference i just think this is like eating up my makeup more than that side's not ate up my makeup so Let's move on to the blush. So I'm going to be using, again, two blushes there. The e.l.f. and the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to be using these two again because these are another two that always get compared to each other. So I've got this Charlotte Tilbury blush. I really like this one. I've used this quite a lot. And then I've got this one, which is the blush. I think this blush has actually probably got a little bit of highlighter in it. I do love... I don't think it's going to focus, but when it looks all like... Can you see that? Oh. Yeah, this has definitely got a little bit more like pigmented highlighter in it, which I think is actually quite a nice touch. But for me, I kind of like separating my highlighter from my blush. Just for like personal preference. Don't really have a reason for it. But let's blend this blush out. Okay, so this is the blush now. We've got either side. This side's just going a little bit more like muddy. Um, 
I just, I'm gonna just keep blending it out, but already like this side's just kind of kept a little bit more clean than this so i think that contour ruined this side already to be fair probably that was my mistake but um right i'm gonna be using two different highlighters so so i've got the milk makeup highlighter and then i've got the elf halo glow one don't think again this is like that much of a difference but as in price range but we're gonna try it i don't actually like to put the milk makeup on with my face because i just think the roll on's not really a good idea but Oh, that highlight is really nice. I don't actually think there's that much highlight in that one compared to this one, which is actually quite shocking to me, to be fair. Oh, okay, actually, I'm gonna use this instead because this one is like the exact same, but just a Charlotte Tilbury version again. Um, and we're gonna blend this out. So there you can really see the highlighter, but I still think this highlighter is better. So if you wanna go for like a pigmented highlighter, this highlighter is really, really good. This is the one from e.l.f. So, just as a comparison for you guys to, like, visually see. I think it's quite important that we show. These are the two products that I've compared for this one. Um, so, two highlighter sticks. Okay, and this is kind of, like, the base. This is what I always use for my makeup. The only two products we have left are probably my two crucial products. It is most definitely the lip liner. That is my most crucial. So, I have got to the test. The NYX, this one is, this is what it looks like. I actually have used this before, I think, but it probably was like three years ago. So I don't really remember how it was. Uh, and this is in the shade M-A-U-V-E. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, even if it's easy. I love the overline. Oh, I really like this colour. I think that's a really nice shade. I really like that. All right, let's try this side. I think they are the exact same lip liners and this one's probably like £12 more. I honestly can't tell the difference. It looks like the same lip liner. So if you want to spend less for your money then I definitely recommend the next one. I still do love my Charlotte Tilbury one and I don't remember why I stopped using the next one. But this is kind of like the difference. The last step I'm going to use, and this is going to be a hard one, but I'm going to use two different setting sprays. I'm not going to be keeping my makeup on all night long. It's just to see what the effect is afterwards and if it makes any effect. So I'm going to be just holding it over the side. And I've got... Oh, I can not close my eyes. This is the Setting Mist um, from Studio London, which is actually a really good brand for your makeup. And then that's right side. And that is the setting spray from the Iconic london brand so clearly i love my charlotte tilbury and my iconic london as i've used mainly them products as my high-end ones but this is kind of like the finished look for you guys so here is the high end and here is the other side what do you guys think let me know in the comments but to be honest i don't think there was actually that much difference between the foundation the lip liners and the highlighter i certainly think that the elf one was much better than the charlotte tilbury one but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you did enjoy a little bit of something different i thought i really wanted to test this out and what's not better than to test it out with you guys so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye